Hey there, how do you do? Let's end this harmonic oscillator chapter talking about oscillations in two dimensions. Let's consider we have a simple harmonic oscillator on a plane where the recovery force f vector is equal to kr vector. We can decompose this force into the x and y axis. We already know the solution to this motion in both axes. Uh, amplitude times the cosine of omega t plus a phase, where these phases depend on the initial conditions of the motion. These equations correspond to the case where the recovery forces from both axes are the same, therefore they have the same frequency. We can do some simple math to find the equation of the trajectory. First we add and subtract one phase into the cosine of the other solution. Then we apply a trigonometric identity Then we use the fact that each cosine is the ratio of the position over the amplitude. Some wibbly wobbly mathy stuff. And we find this equation for the trajectory on the two-dimensional plane. Look that it depends on the phase difference. For suitable phase differences, this can be turned into a straight line or into an ellipse. or into a circle if A and B are equal.
But let's now consider that an object is under two recovery forces, one per axis, where the recovery constants are different. This will imply that the frequencies of the motions on each axis are different. So the solutions are written this way. This is just a more general case than the one before. Again, the motion of the object will be limited by plus and minus a and plus and minus b. This rectangle limits the motion. This can lead to non-periodic motion in the xy plane, but some interesting cases for which the motion is periodic also. To the periodic motion, we need to compose that after a specific time, the x and the y solutions will be back in their initial positions. But in between, we can have the x solution be in its initial position while not the y and vice versa. But for a common time t, they need to be back in their initial position. In these cases, the trajectories will be closed, while not in the non-periodic cases. I'm going to plot some solutions of this to find the figures that represent the trajectories of the motions. I defined a time range, I write the solution in the x-axis, and the solution in the y-axis. For this latter, I have written that the frequency is twice, and it can plot several initial phase differences. Let me play a bit with other frequency ratios. OK, now let's see this in the laboratory. Let's connect two wave function generators to an oscilloscope and let's play with different frequency ratios. These are called Lysius figures after Jules Lysius. May the science be with you.